So if you feel you, are, you have invested enough in a pair, you bought land in Isimi or around Isimi, you bought land in Igunla, you bought land in Ilara, you bought land in Poka, you bought land around different towns, it's a new lagoon fund, you bought land all around the pair, and you are looking at the next location that you can invest, the next, the next location that is still affordable, that you can invest before the crowd start coming in, then this video is for you. Because in this video, I'll be talking about Agbowa Imota in Ikorodu and why you should invest in this location. In case you are coming across a video like this for the first time, please meet the Public Guide Property Channel and so we discuss everything in real estate. For those who want to invest at the first time and avid investors who have already been investing in Lagos, got property in Magodo, Kejajari, Lekki Fiswan, Lekki, Yaja, and so on and the likes, we share enough tips and guides on what you can do with your um, property, what you can do with your real estate investments, and also the different things that you have to look out in different investments that you want to do. Is it buy and flip? Is it short? Led, is it land banking we share enough guides for you so after watching this particular video this particular topic you can also go to our other playlist playlist on real estate company for you to know how to deal with real estate companies playlist on short led for you to know how to start and make money from short led playlist on land documents for you to understand land titles here and other playlists like that so let's go into the topic Agboa Imota in Ikorodu why should you invest in these locations? Now, before all the noise started about it, um, three years ago, it was all the Bajuleki everyone was investing in. Uh, but right now, people have moved to Ekbe for something cheaper, something much more affordable, and gradually the price of Ekbe have started picking up too. Ibonla was was before 750k, 50k. Ibonla now is getting to 2 million, 2.5 million for a plot. So definitely investors will continue to search for locations that are much much affordable that they can go to as fast and as early as they can agboa and imota in Gurudu are fantastic options now as i always mentioned in my videos ekme has three different entries and exits you can get into a pair via the lekki expressway passing through lekki aja some gotedo eleko Ekbe bridge down to Ekbe. You can pass through Ikorodu down to Ekbe, passing through Imota, Maya, Agbowa, down to Tokin, and then straight into Ekbe. And then you can also come into Ekbe via Idebode, Shagamu, or a road, Idebode, down to Ekbe. So Agbowa, Imota position themselves as the next location for investors after the Ekbe spillover. Because Ekbe now is getting quite expensive poka now is five million poka five million for a plot and even some part of a pair that have co4 or government allocation are already selling above 10 million for a plot but when you go to agboa when you go to imota you are still going to get land that is much much more affordable and most of these locations are already existing residential locations where people are already staying, particularly Imota. Imota is a very, very big town, very, very developed. There are schools around, there are communities around. A lot of people that are already doing their businesses at different parts of, of, of Ikorodu are already staying in Imota. And because this location still somehow, somehow link to a pair, it also makes sense for you to also invest in this location so that you can start positioning yourself and start linking your investments with one another. So you have an investment in Ibonla, you have an investment in Boka, you have an investment in Ketu Ekbe. You can also invest in Imota and Agbawa to also link those locations together because all these locations, they link. And because of the different proposed infrastructures and development that are coming to Ekbe, the proposed airport is still there. The regional road is still there. The um, Alago City mega project is still there. The free trade zone is still there. So it means that somehow, somehow, all this demand, all this are still going to spill over into Imota, Agboa, and the Maya houses. So the faster you go into these locations, the better. Just like some people bought a pair two years ago, 650k, 700k, and those same locations now are like 1.5 million naira and 2 million naira for your plot. Now, another thing is that your land in a pair, either is Igbunla, is Iragoshi, is Poka, is Temu, is Okeosho, is K2 a pair, 
This land are targeted towards the Lake Free Trade Zone, the proposed airport, and a different um, demand, the surge in population that's going to happen or occur in this location based on this development. Now, will there be any kind of surge in Ikorodu that is also going to affect what you have invested in Agbawa and Imota? Yes. Now, the Fort Mainland Bridge has been a proposed development for a lot of years, just like the Free Trade Zone. The Free Trade Zone too have been in Lagos master plan for ages before Fashola um, did a lot of um, JV and joint ventures with Chinese companies for the seaport and then the Free Trade Zone part. So the Fort Mainland Bridge too, once that project commenced, once it shows sign that the government are moving to site for that project, most of the properties in Ikorodu are going to skyrocket. Because that project is majorly, majorly to open Ikorodu for a lot of investments. And again, the Lagos state are also, government are also gradually moving into train. And they are trying to connect as much location as they can right now with different rail lines. There is one coming from Abadu, Agege, Ikeja, down to um, Fade, Yaba, Unibo. There's another, another one coming from Okoko, my two, Orile, going down to CMS. And also, there's also another one proposed that will be coming from CMS, go passing to Lekki Ekwe Expressway, down to Ekwe. So, all these different infrastructural developments are also going to open new communities. So, that's why investing in Agboa, Imota, Maya Axis right now makes a lot of sense. Although these locations, you are still going to be investing for land banking, because most of the land that you are going to see in this location that are affordable are still going to be land banking. But it's good for you to position yourself very early in these locations. Because the moment the Fort Mainland Bridge come, work commence on that Fort Mainland Bridge, there will be a surge in Kourodou, there will be a surge in population in Kourodou, there will be a surge in demand of properties in Kourodou, and you should have a property in this Imota Agbawa Aziz before then. Now, a lot of retailers have already, are already trying to um, sell Ekbe based on the presence of the different tertiary institutions that are in Ekbe, the Augusta University, the Yabate campus, the Lagos State Michael Otodola um, University of Education also. Now, in Nikorodu also, there are tertiary institutions, both private and also state-owned. The last protect, which is Lagos State Polytechnic, is in Agboa, Nikorodu. And this property, uh, sorry, this uh, Polytechnic is, have recently even been converted to a university of technology. Which means that in the next one year, even between one to three years, there will be a huge rise in the number of students and, <clears throat> and applicants that will be interested to go to that particular school. Because right now, it's now a university of science and technology. So properties around that um, school, properties around that university are also going to um, go up more because there will be an increase in rental demand and most of the landlords there also are going to increase their rents. So that's why you should also consider Imota, Maya, Ikorodu Axis, Ijede Axis for you to invest because this location have a fantastic perspective. Apart from the Lagos State um, Last Protect, which has been converted to Lagos State University of um, Science and Technology right now, there is even a club university also a private owned university still in that same axis too so that's why you should position yourself early in this place i am very sure at some point maybe in a year or two the state um, government will start rehabilitation of that road that connects ekbe and ikorodu once they do that road property in that axis will go up more again see we don't want to invest in a place where the government have done the road you want to invest in a place where the government has not done the road so that you can buy as affordable as you can because the moment the government have done the road the price of those properties will go up so so high lagos have not even hit 50 percent of its value based on the population in lagos and based on on the demand the real estate demand in lagos 
the price of all properties in Lagos have not hit 50% of the value. So that's why each of the develop, uh, developments and infrastructures the government are doing are even jacking up the prices higher and higher because as at right now most of the properties are even still selling below their actual value do you see why a lot of these properties are selling at maybe one million or two million it's because the wood is bad it's because there's no electricity when most of these infrastructures the wood is good the electricity has been done houses have been, have been built schools are there hospitals are there those prices will go 400 percent 300 percent increase so if you also want to invest in a location that can go 400 percent 300 percent in the next couple of years agboa imota is also a fantastic option for you to consider outside Ekbe. so i've given you different options different um reasons why agboa maya imota ekodu is also fantastic for you for you to consider see Ekbe will still get sold out just like people sold out the bajuleki to we get at some point there won't be not in a play again so whether you like it or not you are still going to have to move out of a play at some point to look for land so the faster you do that the cheaper you are going to buy it so that's why i'm telling you right now about the next location people are going to move to once a play is sold out so Agboa, Imota, and around the Ikodu axis linking to Ekbe are the next location. Even there are so many estate companies that already got plots. When you drive uh, between Ekbe to Ikodu, you are going to be seeing different banners, different banners left and right, different banners left and right, about different properties in that axis. So a lot of real estate companies are already positioning themselves in that axis already. So either you want to buy from a real estate company or even want to acquire different plots from different families or different communities in that axis, it's good that you position yourself early in that place before the crowd comes. So I think I'm more particular in planet, so party advisor, party consultant, Rabbi Mustafa. Thanks once again for watching our videos. We appreciate you guys so much. And if you have questions for us, you have inquiries for us about the property that you want to buy, the property that you have bought already, you can also drop a comment here. I'm definitely going to attend to it. Or alternatively, you can also reach me directly on my WhatsApp number on the screen. And I'm also going to try as much as, as, as I can to attend to you. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subscriptions, the shares, the positive comments, the positive feedbacks. I appreciate you guys so much. And uh, see you next time.